it? Yes. Where do I find you to put a baby in you? Do you even perform your duty as a housewife? You go out and come back by 10 p.m. daily. Listen to this idiot. Just listen to yourself. You disgust me. You disgust me. For God's sake, I'm a barrister at law. I'm not a cheap housemaid. Barrister indeed. You watch and see. Well, I will have to step into this house. Only then will I arise and shine. No, only then will you arise and live my life for good. I am an African and I have the right to marry 50 women. It is too late because Midred is already pregnant. Not to divide it. You or I, who is married? And who is married? This is how the cookie crumbles. I told you I would have the last laugh. When a woman has the heart of meekness, she receives the blessings of the angels. But when she's demonic, she's invited to set up her bed. No, you are a very wicked woman.
How are you today? What are you doing in the jungle of wild bees? Um, please permit me to introduce myself properly. I need to go to hell in peace. Yes, the tiger, you will not go to hell. If you am suppressed alive, life, I'm also suppressing death. Hell is my choice. I've made my choice. <clears throat> I'm Barrister Jimmy Smith. I'm your lawyer. They always want to have it their way. I told them I don't need any lawyer. Mr. Tiger, it is your right to have me. I have your right to go home in peace. What home? Hey. my chambers in three days. Three days? Yes, I give you one extra day. Okay. Don't fail. I will promise not to fail, madam. Okay. Yes, ma'am. You have to get to the car with me to get your money. All right, ma'am. Half of the money. Okay. Okay. The rest I can share it this week. No, 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 don't worry. All this I hear about your 
declining representation of your client. He's violent, sir, and he attacked me. Miss Julia, his conduct should not in any wise inform your decision. You're a trained lawyer, and I expect that you should know how to handle such violent clients. But he's not just violent, sir. The guy is a lunatic. If you are incompetent to handle such cases assigned to you, Miss Julia, the most appropriate thing to do will be to tender your resignation. And I'll gladly accept it. Sir. Yes. I have noticed that since I turned down your request for a date, you've been deliberately victimizing me in this office. Mm. How ingenious. So, you are now using blackmail to cover up for your inefficiency. Anyway, I'm sure it's clear to you that I'm above board in the discharge of my duties in this place. And for your information, I run a department where effectiveness and absolute dedication to duty is the watchword. But there are more experienced lawyers in this department who can handle such cases. Enough! 30 days is what I give you. No more, no less. Else. I think I'm through with you anyway. You can go. My friend. Justice sent me to get her pictures. Why didn't you bring them? I'm sorry, thieves broke into my studio. Thieves broke into your studio. So? I said thieves broke into my studio and stole my camera with the film containing her photograph. It'd be like say your head never twist before. You think you can toy around with anybody you see? What's the matter with you now? I said I was robbed. I expected to use your common sense. Oh, in other words, I lack common sense. Look, officer, please, please, oh, please, I'm thinking of what to do with my life now. Please, just tell justice to come back for a retake. <laughs> uh, I should ask justice to come back for a retake. Uh, yes, in a week. By then, I would have been able to organize a new camera. Right now, please, I'm thinking of what to do with my life. Thank you. Photographer. I see you're looking for trouble. If, if you don't want to hear my explanation now, then do your worst. Uh, arrest me, jail me. At least that's what you people are good at doing. I beg, don't disturb me. Just tell her to come back for you take. Ah. Okay. Alright. Principality. explains it. Julia, why didn't you tell me your boss was a dog? It wasn't important. It wasn't important. This is what I've been shouting about. Julia, you have, to, you have to quit this job. You have to quit this job. Stanley, I have heard you. Okay, you were right. I will quit this job in a couple of months. You don't have to shout. <laughs> My brave daughter wants to mend the rusty system. Daddy, I'll have to take my leave now. But you have to talk to her. That's right, my young man. Good night. Good night.
But there are things can't just carry on like this in the, in the society. So you sincerely want to fight for the deprived, isn't it? Yes. I became a lawyer because I wanted justice. That is my dream, Dad, and it has always been my dream. Good. Very good. Now, could you tell me how you would fight a man who is victimizing you for refusing to sleep with him? And to make matters worse, the man is your boss who has powers to frustrate you as well as to fire you. Tell me. Pastor, over all this ill luck. Pastor? Honey, each time I mention the pastor, you keep saying pastors won't perform magic. But God could make things work for us, you know. For how long have we been praying? No, tell me, for how long have we been praying? Hmm? We have been praying for long, and I know God has been watching. I need fast answers from him, more. Okay. We have 60 days to our traditional wedding. We don't have money. What are we going to do? Honey. Don't tell me. What are we going to do? Honey, God will do it for us. The money for our traditional wedding will come. We just have to keep praying. My friend, you are needed at the station. For what now? Are you interrogating me? Listen. Will you leave before I move you? Listen, officer, you don't have the right to come into my studio and tell me to follow you to wherever. Young man, you're under arrest. But you just can't come in here and arrest him like that. What has he done? Shut up. Listen, I deserve to know my offense. What have I done? My friend, move this man. Arrest him. Young man, move. I'm not going anywhere. I said move! I said I'm not going anywhere now. Come, wait. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Honey, I'll come out. It's okay. It's all right. I just um, lock up the shop and then inform Obasi. Okay? It's okay. I'll come out. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not totally my fault. You see, the camera I used in taking our photographs was stolen from my studio. And you want me to believe you? Yes, sir. Okay, did you report the burglary to the police? No, sir. You see? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, you are very, very lucky, young man. You are very lucky. Justice Dunn had just called some minutes ago and um, told me that your friends came begging on your behalf. She asked me to release you, okay? But you must promise me to produce those pictures on and before three days from today. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I, I will, sir. Can go. Better be very careful. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
I understand you want to take those shots in my chamber. Um, yes, ma'am. I felt it would be more convenient for you to take the shots here instead of you coming over to my studio for the retake, ma'am. Will you just shut up your mouth? You cannot determine for me what will be convenient for me. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Besides, I wanted studio shots. That was why I took off time to stop over at your studio to take the photos. Uh, Madam, I understand you, but uh, if you permit me, we can have the shots here. The pictures will still come out well. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Okay, let's see how it goes then. As a devil, oh, devil, devil, devil. Hi, can you believe that the retake I took for justice did not show? Wait, oh, the ones you took in her chambers? Yes, now. No, 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 it can't be. Oh, there, there must have been something wrong with the camera. And this is a new camera now. God. So, so, what would you do now? Get up, young man. Get up. Ma? I said get up. Huh? Get up. Young man, I think you are under a spell. Is this the way you've been running your business all this while? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I'll retake the pictures again. Okay, let us do it this way. I have to come to your studio for the show. Uh, no, 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 please. I, I I'll come here myself. You don't need to bother, bother yourself. yourself. Please, I, I, I I'll come here and I'll take the shots, please. You won't tell me what to do, young man. Okay? Mom, sit down. Sit down. Sit down first. I said sit down. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. What would you like to drink? Nothing. Nobody says no to me. Just get up there, go there and take whatever drink you want. Or if you prefer tea or coffee, I'll make it for you. Uh, I don't want anything, I'm fine. Nobody says no to me. Uh, no, believe me, I'm fine. Anyway, what happened to the pictures? What went wrong with them? Was it the camera or the film? Why are you smiling? Um, Mama, I... I'm just surprised you know a thing or two about photography, madam. Photography was a hobby in my secondary school days. My parents actually forced me into legal practicing. You are an intelligent and enterprising young man. Why would you be wasting your time doing photography? Um, madam, I wouldn't actually say I'm wasting my time. You see, I actually studied photography at the university. You did? Yes, madam. Why would anyone study photography in the university? Um, you see, um, photography to me is a passion. I, I see nature in it and I express myself better with it. Now tell me, what prospects does it hold for a young man? Hi. 
said come back next week. Honey. You can't just stay here doing nothing. You need to go out there and look for money to buy another camera. Who will I go to meet for help? Hmm? I don't know. We just need to do something. I mean, you're just talking as if you don't know the country now. Who will I go to? Excuse me. Justice. Good afternoon, ma. Yes, ma. I know the area, yes. Number 25. No problem, ma. No problem, ma. Yes, ma. Ma? All right, I'll be there. Yes, ma. I'll be on my way. Yes, ma. All right, ma. Who was that? Justice. What does she want? She said I should come to her house. Her house? Yes, I mean, you never can tell. You never can tell. How is your photo studio doing? Have you been able to buy a new camera? Um, no, madam, but I have hope I will next week. I have a proposition to make. You have a proposition? Mm -hmm. I want to invest in your business. You want to invest in my business? Hmm. Is there anything wrong with that? Madam, I'm confused. You said you want to invest in my business. I, I don't quite understand. Okay. This is what I want you to do. I want you to do a feasibility study of a comprehensive photo studio. Bring it to my chambers. I'll look into it. Madam, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I mean, this is good news. I, of course I will. I will. I'll do that. As long as my investment is guaranteed. I don't throw money into dustbin. I am ready to invest up to the tune of one million naira. Madam, of, of, of course, of course, uh, your, your money will be secure and you will reap from your investment, madam. That's it. Good day. Uh, good day, madam.
Justice said I should bring you upstairs. Huh? Yeah. Please follow me. Upstairs? Yes. Okay. Yes. Max Studio is now the talk of town. That's good. That's good. How about the secretary? Is she living up to expectations? Oh, she is wonderful. And so dedicated to her job. Look, Max. I am a perfectionist. That is the reason I am able to rise to where I am today. If you do things my own way, I'm sure that this relationship is going to be very rewarding. But if you try to play smart, I'm going to crush you. But why should I play smart? I mean, that will make me very ungrateful. Well, I just want you to be very careful. I don't want any mistakes. I want you to put in 100% attention into that business. I invested one million naira, and one million naira is huge sum. I know that, man. <sighs> Max, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, um, not really. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes or no? I, I, I don't have a girlfriend, but I have a fiancé. Fiancé? Yes. In fact, our traditional wedding will be coming up in two months. Well, you must suspend that marriage immediately. Oh, but why should I... I am not trying to interfere. This is for your own good. 
my one million naira is at stake, and I must recoup it in one year, or you will lose everything, including the studio. I stated this in the agreement I drafted. Just one year, and I'm able to recoup my one million naira. You are free to go ahead and do whatever you wish. But, but, but justice, suspending my traditional wedding was not part of our bargain. Yeah, sure, it was not. But right now it has become part of it. One thing I cannot do is to stop you from just getting up and walking away from this whole business. You have every right to abandon this business and going back to your slum. I mean, I have seen worse ingrates before now. You have given me a lifeline. I can't afford to be ungrateful to you. I'm glad you recognize that fact. It is my responsibility to make sure that you do not go astray. That wedding must be put on hold. One more thing. This is Maxi. Most nights, my bed feels so cold. And when it does, I want you to warm it up for me. This is part of my new rules. to abandon your wedding arrangement with a girl who has lived with you all these years of toil and toil. Basi, you don't have to be sentimental. You have to be reasonable. Max, there is nothing reasonable in madness. So what do you expect me to do? What? Abandon my dreams just because of Bart? No man is worth it and you know it. Listen, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere next to Justice Dora if not for the business I run with her. Besides, whatever I do, I do for Bart and I. So what are you talking about? Huh? Max. Are you a fool? You're my friend, please don't be a fool. You are running a business for her. You are not her partner. I can see I'm not getting any reasonable advice from you. Max, run. Run away. Run. If you don't have legs, I'll give you mine. But, but please run. And don't you ever dump Pat. Some Pat just has to be patient. 
Okay, she has to wait for the sunshine after the rains. So, this woman is now your God. Look, for now she's God sent. Obasi, you hear me? For now she is God sent. Listen, I don't suffer. Eh? And I've been praying to God. And now God has listened to me. You expect me to leave her because of part? I mean, hear yourself. Listen, that woman, that woman you so despise, in three days is getting me a three bedroom flat. Max, you think this is now paradise? Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you what you don't know. You are in a rapid slide into hell. And in case you don't remember, let me tell you what she is doing to you. It's just like a man throwing grains of wheat to the chicken, just to lure them into his trap. That is what she's doing to you. You don't finish. No, no, you don't speak your English finish. You won't see my studio, Abi, you don't want to see my studio. Jesus Christ. So this is it. This is all. Go, baby. This is the life. Huh? This is the life. Baby, this is the way we should be living. You understand? I mean, this. This is us. You know, you and I. Not it, Max. What do you mean this is not it? Honey, this is way too expensive for us. I mean, we need funds for other things. And besides, where did you get the money from? What money? The money you used in getting all these things. And even renting the apartment. I have a studio, remember? Oh, Max, please, don't give me that. I mean, you know as much as I do that you don't touch that money. All the money goes to the bank. And it's only your secretary that, you know, has an access to the account. He's in charge of every cobble. Well, if you insist, my dear, my partner paid for this place. And she furnished it too? Of course she did. Nice place. She's got sense, isn't she? You know, nice place, you know, you and me, this is the life we should be living, you know. I mean, you and me, you... Baby, is anything the matter? Max, this whole thing is beginning to look like a puzzle. It's, it's like the devil's gift. I mean, there is nobody that is going to show you this sort of kindness without expecting something back from you. Max, have you started sleeping with her? What's the meaning of that? It's exactly what you heard. No, 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 tell me, what, what does that mean now? Why should I sleep with that old woman? Or are you one of those people who refuse to look beyond their noses? I see beyond my nose, fine, Max. I mean, we need funds for other things. Other things like what? A traditional wedding, for an instance. Right. Max. Yes. Max, what is, what is wrong with you? Hmm? Anytime I just mention our traditional wedding, it just seems to bring discomfort to you nowadays. Honey, I, 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 I think it would be wise for us, you know, to suspend this wedding for now. What did you say? Of course you heard me. <laughs> Max, you, you must be joking. I mean, you, you're joking, right? Honey, this is no joke. Okay, this is no joke. I, I, I feel, you know, it would be wise for us, you know, to postpone this wedding, you know, for a year or two so we can, you know, get ourselves together and get caught. Max, what has she fed you with? Oh, God. Oh, so you want me to become an object of ridicule before my friends, my family, the uh, community? Ah, please, 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 please. I mean, to hell with your community, to hell with your friends. Don't tell me. Where were they when I was eating sand for breakfast? Where? Where were they? Listen, I repeat, I will not be cajoled into a hasty marriage that will lead to doom tomorrow. Tell your people and your community that Max Sodugu plans his life. Honey. Please. Honey, 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 please. Honey, please. You, you can't do this, honey. Just remember everything we had. Just think about the past. Think Max. about it. You're just being selfish.
Of course I'm still beautiful. Why don't you think so? Of course I do think so. Sometimes when I look at myself in the mirror, I tend to believe that God does not exist. Of course he exists. If he did not exist, we wouldn't have met. Well, I think he exists for some people. For example, just look at me. Look at me in that picture at 17. And I was such a piece of beauty. I was like the morning rose. Tell me, why would God want such beauty to fade? Why? Do you know what he has denied generations by not letting them behold this beauty? Do you know? Oh, come on, honey, I mean. Every minute, every second, all the beautiful ones are born. That is the cruelty of creation. When those new ones are born, the old ones become faded trees. And then, men like you, devourers, we want to patch on them for a meal. <laughs> Yeah. That reminds me, what about that girl? Have you settled with her concerning the marriage date? Uh, of course, I'm the man. I, I told her the wedding should be put off for now. Hmm. Max, you are the man. <laughs> so one day you will want to pass it over me too, isn't uh, it? Oh, no. I mean, that would be in another generation. from this that the volcano erupts. Have you known this before? Uh, yes, I studied a bit of that in geography. The fury in me could be compared to the flame under the earth. Max, if you hurt me, if you hurt me, Max, I am going to erupt like the volcano. Max, I do not share my men with others. Hmm? I don't ever want to see that girl anywhere near you again. Do you understand me? From this very moment, that relationship is cancelled. Yes. This is my world. I want to let you into the world of Fame and wealth. Hmm? Come on. Let me go out to my friends downstairs.
Bible says you have already chosen. Yes. <laughs> that is interesting. Oh. oh, come, come, come. Come here, my boy. Max, come and meet some of the movers and shakers of this great nation. Here is Honorable Minister of Police Affairs, Diana. Good day, madam. Yeah, you're welcome. She's Rosemary, Permanent Secretary of Ministry of Justice. Good day, madam. And this is the big one. Justice Akudo. How are you? She's my colleague. I'm fine, thank you. Um, you said Max? Yes, Max. Max. <laughs> if there's anything you need, eh, don't hesitate to call on us. Hmm? We are always there for you. As long as you are faithful to our friend here. And also consider yourself as one of the untouchable bigger boys in yeah. this country, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Max. Oh. You cannot take the car to the workshop. All right. Um, you have a nice day, ladies. Hey. And be a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> From you. Too late. You say? Too, too late. Too late because I have already invested in him. <laughs> give me five, give me five. That's my so baby. Cool <laughs> <your temper. laughs> Come on, Rosemary. How about your husband? Well, he's doing very fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, now to the business of the day. Okay. Yes. Have we received any feedback uh, from the presidency? on uh, Dora's new appointment as the new Attorney General of the Federation? Um, yes, yes, about to, you know, it's about to. Well, from the Ministry, everything is under control. Okay. That's all right. I just hope the men will not do their usual by snatching it from the back. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> all this from you. It's a part, okay? A man like me needs space, especially if he's as busy as I am, okay? You, you can't be, you know, breathing down my neck all the time. I, I need to plan my life. I, I need to, you know, you know, plan my business, organize my business, you know? It's a whole package, okay? So I need space, please. I don't believe you. I just, I don't believe you. Part. What? I'm not joking. No, I actually think you've lost your mind. You've got the cloud over your head. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, what's it? What's it? Can't you mind your business? Huh? What's your business in this? Have to do your work. Watch it. Watch it, man. Watch it, girl. Oh, 
how long this can take you. How long? I can't be running to you for everything. Even when I need the little bottle of beer, come on. You can't think as well to be fed. Oh my goodness. I need to do it. Do something. Max! Max! Max, you are weak here. Max, so this is the way you want to treat me after everything we've been through together, right? Max, God will punish you. God will punish you for doing this to me. What do you mean, what am I doing here? So, this is the reason why you want to leave me, right, Max? You want to leave me because of this thing. Eh, Max? This is why you want to leave me like this. I, I, I thought I told you that I never want to separate you. Max, I'm not going anywhere. No, get out. I'm not going anywhere. I said get out. I'm not now, going, Max. Get out. Because get Max, out. let's talk about this. Get, get out. Just leave me like this. Some bomb shots, right? Crazy shots. Wildos. <laughs> well, I'll say you've come to the right place. You see, at Max Studios, we take you beyond your imagination. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. And speaking of charges, charges? Mm -mm. don't sound so cheap. Mm -hmm. If you give us what we need, I'll give you whatever you ask. Right. <laughs> okay, um, no need speaking too much then. Okay? Let me take you girls to where the action takes place. Oh, Alright, so if you two beautiful ladies follow me, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Okay. Stripping down to my boxers, I'm sorry, I can't. But the only thing I'll do for you is just take off my shirt. Okay, we'll manage it. All right, okay. Um, so you just give me you know, one minute. Okay. I 
What did you tell Justice? Did you say I told her anything? Listen, I asked you a simple question which deserves a simple answer. What did you tell Justice? And is my answer not simple enough? Listen, I want to warn you. I came here to warn you for the very last time. Stay off my back, okay? You came here to do a job and not poke your stupid filthy nose into my private business. Sir, you don't have any right to insult me. You did not employ me. Oh, really? Is that the way you say it? Listen, if I want you out of this place, this minute, this second, I will kick you out this minute, this second. No. It is only madame that can throw me out. And you know it. Are you fighting with your boss? Can you beat that? <sighs> My friend, stay there. I'll give you the pictures. I can't do such, please. I, I hope you don't. Oh, no, 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 I have it. Okay. The case is mine, I know how to handle it. So, yeah. Whoa, jeez. Oh, this is fine. <laughs> Beyonce is gonna let's get Oh my god, this is lovely, this is lovely. This is lovely. Oh, this is me. This is me. This is me. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I love it. You're nice. Yeah. You like what you see? Yeah. Now you've not been yourself. You've lost the power that you once possessed. What is it, sir? Forgive me. I'm not happy at the studio. The studio? Yes. Why not? I, I, I told you I, I need some money for myself, you know, to run my own personal expenses. I even told you I, 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 I need, I need Come money on, to... Come on, Max. I'm only protecting my investment. Eh? I can see that you're a bit reckless with money. By the way, why didn't you collect money from those two girls yesterday? Why? Eh? Don't you know that serious-minded businessmen don't survive on credits? Eh? My God. Why must this girl always twist facts for you? Why? No, no, no. She only reported the truth. You know what? I can't tolerate that girl anymore there. I want her out. Look, Max. If I find any lapses in her discharge of her duty, I'll be the one to fire her, even before you say so. As for the money you requested for, I can see that you are, you are not yet matured mentally. Because if given the opportunity to handle the finances of this business, you will only use it to run around with girls. You know I'm only doing all this for us. I'm doing it for us, and you know it. What is happening to me? Tracy. I dream of her every night. There is something about that girl that makes me different. I only meant her to I send 
I can't get my mind off her. But I can't even make a move because of this woman, Dora. Dora. Why did I allow myself to be so trapped by this woman? The terms of this business does not favor me at all. I should have protested from the beginning. She has seized the business and turned me into a sex slave. The danger now is that I don't even have erections when I'm with her. I have this feeling that if I go on with this woman this way, I may even become impotent. I need to use Tracy to awaken my potency. Besides, I need to have fun and feel like every other young man. After all, I have a few months to the one year agreement I have with her. A few months and I'll be free from her. Free from her shackles. Once I get the money, I will tell her bluntly that the game is over. Even though Dora is a judge, she is still a woman. If I keep my head straight, I'll definitely outsmart her. Definitely. Cause you got a friend mm. I'll be safe for some Come You've been bugging me with calls Oh god I Never knew you two were musicians. Yeah, we are the best things that will ever happen to this country musically. Now, dude, how much do we owe you so we can pay you and you can stop bugging us with calls? Well, I didn't come here for the money. You didn't come for the money? Yes. Then why are you here? Can we, you know, talk outside, please? Talk. <clears throat> You just call so hard. Max, you are seeing another woman. I'm not seeing any other girl. It's just that I work so hard. Look, if working hard means having me, then I have to lock up that studio. I have to do it. Now get out. Look, you have to understand, this thing comes up naturally, you know? I mean... Get up, get up, get up. Get up, Nico. Get up, get up, get up. Get up and get out of here. What is this? Get out! I should leave. Just get out! Please get out! What is all this? Tell me to leave. Leave! 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 leave. Come in. Hi. Tracy. Mine are welcome. Uh, or do you want us to go? Oh, 
please. Uh, of course, you're welcome. Okay. Hello. Okay. Uh, th this is actually a, a very, very big surprise, though. Know? Hmm. Okay. So, how about you? Won't you offer us a seat? Uh, oh, oh, please sit down. Oh, please sit, sit down. Okay. Sit down. <sighs> uh, like I said, um, this is actually a, a, a big surprise, though. Know? Oh, baby. I oh, like surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I hope you have something for the stomach, because we are really, really hungry. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Get us some fast food. There's one down the road. Uh, fast food? Uh? Mm-hmm. It's not far. <sighs> OK. Um, one moment, eh? OK. <laughs> Yes, uh, Obasi. Obasi, Anna. How far? Uh, the guy, guy. So, I'm, I'm sorry for the way I sounded last time. I beg. No vex. Uh, 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 see, uh, see, I, I need 5,000 naira now. Yes, I need 5,000 naira now, now, now. Yes, it's very, very urgent. Uh, I will give you now. Why you talk like this? I will give you. Uh, I know you borrowed your money before. Uh, John, uh, okay, uh, uh, make it be 5,000 naira. I beg. No, 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 come here, don't, no, come here, I, 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 I'll come to your house, eh, eh, just stand in front of your house, eh, eh, yes, just stand in front of your house, eh, so as I'm passing by, I'll, I'll come and collect it, eh, thank you, eh, correct guy, correct guy, thank you, thank you, thank you, no, no, I, no, I don't want to enter, I'll just stand outside, eh, I'll come now, okay, correct guy, thank you, thank you. Baby's from me. Believe me, 
me, I'm, I'm very fine. I'm fine, seriously. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> it's money. <laughs> I thought you said you were not hungry. Mm. Coming from her, I believe she refused it. Yes, Justice. I am not sitting today. But my lord, you told me to. Get out of my office! Get out! Get out! My God, that's... this boy takes his mother and he's out and he's jumping. God bless me. I got to the studio only to find out that the locks have been changed. Yeah. I ordered them to be locked. And I intend for them to remain like that for now. Does that give you the cause to badge into my chambers and talk to me with disrespect? But you don't have any reason to lock up the studio. You don't. You don't have any reason to lock up the studio at all. You don't. Uh, uh, you're, you're pushing me. You're, you're, you're really pushing me. You're pushing me. Anyways, I, I need the key to the locks or else I'll just saw them off. Don't ever touch those locks. If you touch those locks, I am going to jail you. I will jail you, Max. I will jail you. So tell me, what have I done? What have I done? You are a stupid, brainless liar. Look, I am a high court judge of many years standing. And I've been dealing with criminals like you. You dumbly told me you were in Kaduna. Where you were actually talking to me from the seaside. You should have been smart enough to tell me you had in Port Harcourt. Maybe you would have been able to deceive me. Now listen, I have been working with utmost dedication towards ensuring the growth of that particular studio, you know. But you've not been to the studio for the past four days. You've not been there. <laughs> Probably you were in the hands of one riffraff. I warned you, Max. I warned you, didn't I? You're only speculating. That's what you're doing. You're just speculating. You're speculating. And you, and you don't have a right and you don't have a reason to take the studio away from me. You can't. You can't just take it. I have not only taken the studio away from you. I am giving you just two weeks. Two weeks to pack your gun and must go back and leave the house. You came with nothing and you will leave with nothing. Get out of my chambers. Now get out. I said get out. The door was open. Hey. Have you gone freaky? Yeah. It's a good thing you came. Because I was just about inviting you over to talk. <coughs> but since you're here, Let's talk. Oh, really? Yes, really. Okay. Let's hear it. Even though you look like shit and, and smell like one. Damn. I want us to stop seeing each other. You see, this thing we call a relationship 
just want to work. <laughs> oh my god. Max. Max. You know I, I, I really like you. Hmm? You're such a clown. Hmm? Come on, boy. That's a nice one. <laughs> you know what? What you need now? Hmm? It's a good sleep, okay? So let's just go inside. Come on, baby. You know, if I didn't know you any better, I'd say you're deaf. But since I know you, read my lips. I want you out of my life. Out oh, come of on. my house. Oh, come on, Max. Come on. You must be walked up, okay? Look, all you need now is a good... Look, Tracy! Tracy. Look. I'm drunk. Okay? I'm drunk. If you don't leave my house this minute, I'll get very nasty. And believe you me, I'll do something you just wouldn't like. So get out. Tracy, I said, get out. I said, get! Oh my god! You smell of liquor. I'll be back when you're in a better mood. I'm sorry. I really am. I've looked for you everywhere, everywhere, but I was later told you weren't in town. I have changed. I have changed. Seriously, I have. I promise. I promise it won't happen again. I promise. You're coming over to the house? My place. Okay. Oh, that, that would be splendid. I'm sorry. Of course I love you too. I'll be expecting you. Bye. Bye-bye.
new way to welcome me to your house now. Listen, you're not welcome here now. Get out. Max, why are you doing this to me? You know I love you. Why are you doing this? Ah, uh, please, 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 please. Okay, get out now, please. What's wrong with you? Are you crazy or something? Am I crazy? Yes, of course I'm crazy. Can't you see I'm crazy? I'm losing my mind. Get out! You're expecting someone, right? Of course I'm expecting someone. I'm expecting my girlfriend. What do you think? Get out! <laughs> Assault will be coming into your court tomorrow. I want that girl jailed. Did you hear me? Jailed. God. I'm sorry, please. I beg you. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, please. You, please. Please, my love, look at my knees on the ground. I beg you. I beg you. I, whatever hap that happened the other time, I had nothing to do with it. I'm sorry, please. You sent your girlfriend to embarrass me. No, no. Why would I do such a thing? Why? I have nothing to do with it. Please, I'm sorry. You think I'm one of your reflex? No, not at all. Maxwell, read my lips slowly. I don't ever want to see you in my compound again. Ever. My love, please, I beg you. I beg you, please, please. My lord. Slow this food out of my compound. My love, my love. Slow now! You can't. Out! You heard me out, please. I beg you. Out, please. I beg you. Thank you. 
again. I'll kill you. I swear. You started a Shit. That your mother in hell will not come to your rescue this time around. No, no, tell me. Is it by force to get married to you? Yes, it's by force. You can't deceive me. You can't just use me and dump me like that. Yes, you might have done it to other guys and I've gotten away with it. But this time, Max, this is your last This is okay. Let me tell you. The day you decide, the day you sign to die, get close to me. Max, come this come. is just the beginning of the devil's dance. When the music stops, you will still be on your feet. Tell me anything about that girl. Huh? You know, you know, I wouldn't have supported your relationship with her. The day, the day I saw her here, I was wondering what she's doing in your life. God, it's the devil. It's the devil. I don't know from which depth of hell the devil just brought her from a front guy to my life to come and destroy it. I don't know. Max, I warned you. See, what if justice sticks to her threat? Do you know you'll be ruined completely? Can you imagine? Can you imagine justice said I should vacate this place within 10 days and to make matters worse, that I shouldn't live with the pain? See, you just have to talk to her. She's a woman, even though, even though she's, she's a judge. That was what I thought. That was what I thought until she proved me wrong. Eh? I just don't know from where this business Tracy just, just, just came into my life like one tornado and came to disarrange it and scatter it. Where do I pick my pieces from? Wait, wait, can you see, 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 the only thing I've thought about now eh, is, is just to leave her alone. And I've warned her to that effect to stay away from you. Guy, you know me. You know me at the crest, so I'll do something to that girl that she won't expect to. Eh. See, 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 see. This is not a matter of being temperamental. Temper will not solve it. Temper can never solve anything. Listen, guy, guy. I can't just stay eh, and then fold my arms and, and watch my whole world, this world I've built for myself, crumble. I can't. So what are you going to do? No, tell me. What would you do? See, 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 see. You have to be sensible now. Guy, see right now, eh? Right now, there is no limit to what I can do right now. There's no limit. And if Tracy now your friend, make you one or more, one or more, one or more, hey, okay. There's no limit to what I can do. No limit. It's by the time I, I surprise all of you. I surprise all of you, all of you will know. I will surprise all of you. A man must do what a man must do. Take every chance that comes to you. I try to do it, baby. I never meant to hurt you, lady. Look at you and see the tears I cry. I'm really sick and tired. Yeah, hello. What the hell do you want from me, Max? Oh, you want me to come to your place? And what makes you think I'll do that? I can't hear you properly. You sound croaky. What the devil is your voice? Mm, I see. Well, if some senses have come into that head of yours, now I'll come. In a few minutes. Back. Yeah. What's up, babe? The clown just called me now. No, 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 no. We have an appointment with the producer and marketer now. No, no, no. This won't take long. It won't take long. You just drive over to his house. Just come over to his place. Yeah. I'm driving down now to Max's place. And be very careful, okay? Yeah. See you in hell!
London or Germany, make a choice. I'm talking about the place we're gonna settle after our wedding. Germany. Germany. I mean. First things first. What will come first? Marriage, Stanley. We'll have to do things right. Oh, you want to abandon me for an Oyibo woman when we get there? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I can't abandon you for a white woman. You got the whitest skin over the world. If I were to make a choice between Nigeria and Europe, I would definitely I choose know, Nigeria. I know you would choose Nigeria. But wait a minute. Where did you get this word patriotism? It's not about patriotism. It's about reality. We need people who will pull this country out of its miseries. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You want to be a messiah to a group of people who put you into a six-foot hole, chain you, pour sand on you, and bury your life? Is that what you want? Stanley, why must you be so gory when you're talking about your country and your people? Why? I speak as it is. Your dad says the society we live in is like a rusted metal that cannot be mended. Think about it. Think about it.
Bible. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you. Does this belong to you? No. Just 
look at it properly. I've not seen it before. Why do you ask? I found it in your house. Well, I don't know anything about it. Lewis! I'd like you to arrange a meeting for me with Tiger. I have something I want to discuss with him. Mm. That is not possible anymore. Why not? He is my client and I can speak to him anytime I choose to. Tiger has been released. What? He has been discharged and acquitted. When? As a matter of fact, he was discharged on the 14th of last month. On the 14th? Wait a minute. The general's daughter was killed on the 17th. And Tiger was released three days to the murder. Thank you, Lewis. Sir. Did you quarrel with anybody recently? No. I only had a little misunderstanding with my partner. A partner? You have a partner? Yes. Who, who is it? What's your partner's name? Justice Dora. Justice Dora is your partner? Actually, she's the sole investor in my photography studio. You own a photography studio? What is it called? Maxi Photo Studio. On Nicholas Road? Yes. And how come you were not able to afford a lawyer? It's a long story. Listen, you will tell me everything. Even if it takes one week, I want to hear it. I want to know about your life and everything. Do you understand me? She's a lawyer. It's about Tracy. Hi. I'm sorry about your friend's death. It's okay. Life is short. Yeah. So, you were on the verge of releasing an album before she died? Yeah. Tracy and I were going to make a hit. Before that bastard wasted her. Just like that. The suspect denies that he did it. He's a fool. Tell him I said he will rot in hell. Um, Joy, listen to me. Assuming the suspect is right that he didn't kill her, do you know what it means? It means that the real killers are out there enjoying themselves while an innocent man walks in jail. On that day, Tracy called me. She told me Max asked her to come over to the house. So, I drove down to Max's house and found him killing her. The police actually never found the murder weapon. How come you didn't raise an alarm when you got there? When I got in there, she was lying on the ground covered with blood. <sighs> so, you didn't actually see him stab her. I never said that. But you said you witnessed the murder. Look, I saw him. I saw him. He has just finished killing her and he was lying over her. And then I walked him. Look, I can swear to this. He killed her. You're not actually a witness to a murder case, are you? Because you didn't actually see him kill her. Whose side are you on? 
on the side of justice. Your friend is dead, Joy. And a man's life is at stake. What man's life? A man who murdered my best pal in blue daylight? Go on, tell me whose side are you on? Look, look. I thought you wanted information to know this bastard. Max is my client. And I want to make sure that he gets justice. Max is your client. You are defending the bastard who killed my friend. What are you doing here? Get out. Get out! Are you out of your mind? This is a man that threatened to kill her. Just go. Listen, you guys. I really need your help. Okay, I, I need to find the real killers. Tracy's mother. What did you find out? Tiger murdered her son. Tiger? And who is Tiger? Tiger is the man that almost strangled me. Sir, Tiger was discharged and acquitted on the 14th. And three days later, Tracy was murdered. How did you find out? There is another angle, sir. Before she died, she and Justice Dora had an open brawl because of Max. And who is feeding you with all this information? Justice Dora and Max were lovers, sir. Sorry, you're getting me confused. I'm afraid you've got to give me time to think of another line of action. It's incredible. But if what you're saying is you're sure about it, then there is trouble. Justice Dora and Max are lovers. Are you sure about this? Yes, Dad. In fact, Justice Dora and Tracy had open fights because of Max. This is a shame. <gasps> then you must be very careful. Why? Do you, do you think Justice Dora might have a hand in this? That woman is very dreadful. She's very vengeful. But she's a well-respected woman in the society. Ah. Whatever she is today came out of desperation. One day, I'll tell you who that woman is. You must be very careful. In fact, you should pull her from the case. No! Daddy, no! I have to fight to save Max. He's an innocent man. In fact, I have to find a way to look for Tiger. Julian. You go to the police for assistance. For the very last time, Max, do yourself a favor and cooperate with me. Can't you get it into your thick head that Julia has been fired and no longer with the council? She has been fired? Yes. Fired. Oh my god. Oh my god. But 
I know you don't believe me. So how can I trust a lawyer who doesn't believe I didn't kill Tracy? Max, you are now my client. And I don't have to believe you in order to defend you in a law court. Right? Look, your case comes up for hearing in two weeks time. I've already met with the judge, Justice Dora, who is going to preside over your case. Justice Dora? Yes. She said all you have to do is to plead guilty and leave the rest for her to fix. That is the only way she can swing the judgment in your favor. She said I should plead guilty. Yes. Don't worry, Max. In two weeks time, we shall all be smiling. Alright? I'll see you then. Just trying to lead you to hell. I mean, even if you are guilty, hmm, you still have the right to your own lawyer. Don't worry. I'll tell Julia that you want to see her. You, you do that for me? Yes, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right, I'll do it for you. Well, since I no longer work for the Legal Aids Council, I might as well try and get my life back on track. Have you considered joining my chambers? You still have a lot to learn. The only thing I think I need to learn now is how to live in peace with the man I love and how to learn to respect him more. I should have listened to Stan in the first place. And Max? What about him? Or have you led him to his feet? Dad, I was only trying to stand by what I believe in. To help those who really need help. If you look at it this way, the beasts are about to devour me. The, the, the process to debar me has already started. I think it's best for me to stay clear. As you know, some, some men are born with negative fate and I feel Max happens to be one of those men. Julia, my daughter, let me tell you something. You see, he who fights and runs away may sometimes live to be a coward forever. You see, sometimes your enemies want to put you in a particular spot of their choice where they will subject you to perpetual slavery. This marks case, <laughs> as I see it, has a hand of fate. A hand of fate? Yes. Maybe your father's spirit wants justice. Dad? Yes.
come to the home. And I assure you. Good evening, sir. They have assigned another lawyer to Max. Max asked me to tell you that he wants to see you. He does not believe in any other lawyer. Um, uh, Louis, tell him my hands are tied. <laughs> tell him, tell him he's, he's a victim of a monstrous system. Barrister Julia, you see, they are about to hang Max. They want him to see his death coming. Uh, you have to do something to help him. Louis, I could go down fighting for him. I could even drown with him. As we speak, the powers that be have already set in motion a process to debar me. I think it's best to stay clear of this case, or rather aggravate the situation. Louis, tell, t tell, tell Max I'm sorry. It's all right. Good night. Justice Dora was your stepmom. Justice Dora was your wife? No. She was the first wife of mine. I have hidden this information for you for 25 years. What's the information? My brother. This is the picture of my brother. Chelsea's daughter was the first wife of my brother. She was a barrister then. I never treated my brother as a wife. She didn't have a baby for my brother. She accused my brother of being sterile. My brother started having a who later became pregnant. He decided to bring in the woman as a second wife. Dora did not take it lightly. She backed out of the house. Did they the second wife of my brother and don't know what to do? After giving Assassin's skin and killed everybody. My brother, the wife, Mildred, the house girl. It was believed that they wanted to kill the baby. But the baby survived miraculously. And that baby, Julia. Woman. 
I strongly believe that she killed him. Yeah. Tracy. Because Tracy was prepared to expose her ridicule. She framed up Max. In order to punish him, I to deny him this truth. It's unfair. It's unfair. Is there no way we can we can get at her or paint something on her? Daddy, why did you tell me this all this while? My dear daughter, you are just a woman. There is not much you can do. Your Lordship, I came to introduce myself properly. My name is Julia Spieth, and you killed my father 25 years ago. What are you saying? You killed my father, and nobody was able to pin it on you. Now you want to destroy the life of that innocent young man. You want to die in shame. What gave you the impetus to stand before me to display insanity? The cry for justice. Your Lordship, you and I know that that boy is innocent. You might have covered your tracks carefully, but let me assure you, I am on your trail. Have a good day, Your Lordship. This can't be. I was told that that baby died. Since she's Barista Spiff's daughter, it could be that her real father is my late husband, she featured. So she didn't die. 
she would have lived her life quietly. But since she wants to become a threat to me, no mistakes. Hmm. No mistakes. Hello? Barista Julia. Speak. Yes, who is this? My name is Tiger. I was once your client. What do you want? Your client is suffering for something he does not know. Okay, I shouldn't be surprised. I know you killed the girl, Tiger. I kill her. I want to give you the evidence that you are looking for. The evidence that will set you free and incriminate GTP. I'm Barista Oko. I want to inform you that I killed GTP this evening. Believe me, the law get alone will not set your crime free. Why should I believe you? How do I know you're not trying to help me to a trap? If I want to kill you, I know where to find you. I have a recall conversation between the TPO, Arista Oko, and me. It's all what you need. Where are you?
You don't have to be this way. Lost it. You don't have to act like the whole world has crumbled on your shoulders. You don't have to. Look, I'll always be with you. And I'll always fight your fight with you. You promise? Of course I promise. A man must do what a man must do Take every chance that comes to you I try to do it baby I never meant to hurt you lady Look at you and see the tears I cry 
I'm really sick and tired. I wanna get off, I wanna get off, I wanna go back.